everyone. I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. And for today's topic, it is a look at 2021. So let me go ahead and just get started here. Uh, so question, or really a statement. Hi everyone, now that 2020 is coming to a close, what a year, right? I wanted to take a look at 2021 to see what we have in store for us. With the help of all you, I have compiled some topics to look at. I hope you enjoy Love and Light Lynn. And so I went to the blog and I said, hey, what do you guys want to hear about? What topics do you want me to look at? So thank you all for contributing your questions to me. And I just want to put a note out there that as I approach this and many questions, I saw two different timelines emerge. It's as if we are in this flux um, and either could be possible. I resonate most with a Trump timeline prevailing, but the Biden one still has some residual energy there. Like it's not quite gone yet. And I'm going to share what timeline I'm seeing when needed. And if I don't specify, then the answers pertain to either one. So the first topic, I broke this down into different topics and then put questions under each topic. So the first topic is U.S. election and national issues, which is a big concern to a lot of people right now, uh, myself included. And so what they wanted to know is who's going to be living in the White House by the end of January 2021. And when I focused on this topic, I'm not sure I see anyone in the White House at the end of January 2021. I think the power struggle is still going to be continuing. And if we aren't in a civil war, we're going to be on the brink of one before a resolution is found. The results will not be initially accepted and the fight will be continuing on. The White House still feels to be in limbo or something is off with it during this time frame. And again, I'm looking at January 2021, at the end of the first month of of the year, and what I get, and I just I still see this unsettled, unresolved feeling. So even if a decision's been made, it's not accepted, and there's still a lot of social upheaval as a result. Next thing they wanted to know is where there'll be an AMP by the sun or other countries directed toward the US and or Texas. So it seems like uh, people might be thinking that Texas is under the radar here, and I did not see an EMP, but I do see interruptions in the electric grid, and I get that the Chinese are working overtime hacking into our various systems, uh, basically to be able to hold us hostage, because if you control utilities, you have a lot of power. I see a major hack sometime between February and May of 2021, so be prepared, get your generators ready. It does look to be short-lived, but it's definitely alarming, the fact that they're even able to breach that on our soil. Um, next thing they want to know is, is Texas going to secede? And I get that if Biden succeeds, the two distinct timelines at play here, Texas is going to start the process to secede. And in the Biden timeline, the first agenda looks to be getting guns, just in general. I cannot see Texas complying to this or a communist socialist state. They may try, but the te Texans are going to fight this and it's going to be ugly. And in looking at Texas, I see that it isn't just Texas that looks to try to break away. On a Biden timeline, the country is very divided and may even work towards splitting into two countries with the Mississippi River being the divider. If Biden gets pushed through, I fully expect the country to start talking division. And so many times when I focused on the country and all of these issues, I see this division right at the Mississippi River. Now, granted, when I see things, sometimes it's symbolic and sometimes it's literal. And I'm just trying to understand the difference of what resonates most with me. So this could be symbolic that there is just a division or it could be literal that it is right down the middle of the country at the Mississippi River. So stay tuned with that to see what happens. And the next thing they wanted to know is, will Biden resign to allow Kamala to assume office? And will the U.S. recognize that this was the original plan and respond with a negative reaction? And I get in the Biden timeline, he is going to fake an illness and resign due to the illness. He's already projected that out there. The people seem to accept this as authentic. However, the people that have been awakened to all these agendas, they're going to know the truth. It's like the people that are asleep, they can hear a lie and accept it as truth. They just aren't. They're not ready to hear it yet, but those that are awake, they're going to totally see through all this. Okay, the next topic, Space Force. They want to know what the most significant secret findings are going to be. Is anything going to be uncovered with that? And I cannot see any legitimate findings that are going to be announced on the media. The key word is legitimate. So I, I almost have this impression that something's going to happen, but it's going to be like a farce. Like it's not going to be legitimate. So I get legitimate is the key here. 
that'll be interesting to see what in reality happens here. All right, moving on to the next topic, economy. Everybody always wants to know about the economy and what's happening here. First question, will businesses have more piling debt that will force them to close due to the lockdown? Will it lead to even more economic problems that would cause more unemployment? It's definitely going to take a while for the economy to rebound. On a Trump timeline, I see that he will get the businesses up and running. He's going to work to get stimulus to those that need it. The stock market also looks to stabilize, which slowly helps the economy rebound. On a Biden timeline, they look to have a premeditated war with China. Already in the plans here. I see a lot of dirty deals being made as China slowly buys up American land, assets, and utilities. As China blackmails and makes deals with these politicians, what seems like a war, what visually we are seeing, is truly a pre-planned confrontation. I get on paper, the results and the goals are already outlined. It's like... It's like they've already planned this out. They already know that's going to happen and it creates this win-win. You know, when people go to war, there is money made on war. That's one way to rebound an economy and get it going again. Not only will that kind of help stoke the economy, but China's been wanting to buy up the U.S. for a long time. They want to be here and they want to slowly convert us back to their communist socialist ideas. Socialism is the gateway to communism. We all know this here. Reagan even said it. So I get they've already pre-planned this. Hey, this is what's going to happen. We have to make it look like, you know, a sneak attack or whatever, but they already know that they're going to plan this out. Like it's going to happen. They've already discussed it and been paid off to make sure it can happen. Bitcoin has reached some new all-time highs. Will cryptos gain popularity, become acceptable, and will 2021 be a good year to invest in them? So, cryptos, they do feel to be popular through at least the first part of the year. And I get that they're going to try to do a tax on transactions or some kind of tax on buying and selling them. And if they succeed in the Biden timeline, they do, and the Trump, they don't, cryptos look to lose some of their popularity. In some ways, I see cryptos being a trap. Like, you want to get people in them and buying them and you know doing all this stuff have people make money lure them in and then it's like you're going to drop the hammer on these tax implications so i'm a little cautious about it um you know watch trends and if you do want to go the crypto route just pay attention to your portfolio see what's going on and listen listen to the news listen to what things are you know legislation they try to to pass and all those kind of things because i feel like there's going to be some whammy with taxes that Maybe you didn't see coming, but nonetheless, they will be out to definitely try to get their hand in your pockets that way. All right, next topic, world politics. A lot going on there. It says, will there be more developments that would say we're on the verge of another war or regional conflicts? Yes. <laughs> Watch for China to do a slow creep on the northern border of the United States. I also see China slowly infiltrating Australia, Africa, and other parts of the world. This China situation looks to be something that needs to be watched. The Trump timeline will involve him fighting them off in a potential war. Biden looks to do a pre-planned war. Very opposite directions depending on what pathway we take as far as uh, leadership here. Next question, will the current Boris Johnson government of the UK continue? I did see him lasting at least through the next year, and I can't see a major transition or a major shakeup at least in the very short term. Next question, what do you see concerning the development in Europe? Which European countries will see the greatest development towards a freer truth-oriented society in 2021, contrary to the falsehood that has pre, uh, basically pre-happened uh, before the beer bug measures in many countries? And I get, in terms of a freer and truth-oriented thinking, France actually emerged to me. Looks to be moving in the right direction. Europe in general faces great challenges in this area, but toward the end of 2021, something looks to shift where people have like really had it. It's almost like people just get so frustrated and they get so angry. That in itself like makes them snap and they start seeing things for what they are. You start, you know, critically analyzing things that just don't make sense. And that helps to awaken people. That looks to happen more toward the end of 2021, but nonetheless, there is definitely a shift there. All right, switching over here to the monarchy. What's going on with that? Uh, what's going on with the queen? And I get that she hasn't been in power for a long time. I see she has a team of advisors 
that's basically managing things and also keeping up appearances as if everything is running smoothly. I also get a body double has been at play. I see this year being the year of transition of power to Prince William, but it was supposed to happen last year in the late summer, but this beer bug caused other distractions and the timing wasn't right. So I get there was already going to be a switch over, but it pretty much got delayed because of all this beer bug stuff. Next topic's the beer bug, right? Everybody's thinking about this and what is going on. They want to know when is this going to be done and when are these masks going to be done ever? And on the Biden timeline, I see the mask lasting a long time. Masks trigger the subconscious for fear and by keeping us reminded that a virus is still out there. This looks to last at least through the summer of 2021. On a Trump timeline, the mask ends shortly after the shots, which I've talked about before, start to be administered to the most vulnerable people. I see Trump trying to get us back to what our old normal standard was. Then they wanna know, what is the status of the shot and the after effects? I get it's coming for sure. I get they're gonna be giving them out ASAP, maybe even before 2021, which I think they're already doing it now. I know I've seen a few videos where like a nurse passed out, that kind of stuff. Um, they're gonna to work to get as many voluntary people as possible and then start to pressure those that don't wanna comply. I also see some kind of incentive tied to getting it and some kind of punishment for not getting it. I expect that not too much will change right away, but by the end of 2021, you may have to have a card to get into certain areas or events. People are going to fight this, and it's definitely not going to go over easily. All right, culture here. What's going on with our culture? Will free speech come back to the university campus, or are we still going to have to endure the cancel culture for ideas that are just different? On a Biden timeline, this looks to get even worse, if you can believe that. You won't be able to watch a TV show, movie, or commercial without an agenda being pushed on you. I see a shift of people going back to older TV movies, like re-releasing of old stuff, because people can only take so much. I cannot see free speech feeling free. And this timeline is going to have a censorship that makes you feel like you aren't even in the same country. So I get that's going to get way worse. With this woke culture almost completely infecting every aspect of entertainment, including sports, how much worse can things get within the next year if it continues to persist? That was a question asked to me. And I get it's going to get much worse before it gets any better. I see this year full of labels ending in obias and ists. Um, if you think any way that differs from the alt-left, this culture has become very popular and for some, not all, people, makes them feel special and they want to fight to keep it. They've implemented this out there. You know, you got a victimhood mentality out there. People identify with it and they don't want to give it up easily. So I do see us uh, dealing with the results of that for at least a while longer here. All right, so changing gears Again, social unrest. Uh, the question, I think we're all wondering what's going to happen next year regarding the powers that were. Will they finally be exposed and arrest the indictments in the get-go, the Epstein, um, all this stuff? Like, What's going on with that? I get on a Biden timeline, all this looks to slowly fade away. He will work tirelessly. Um, well, really, the, the powers that were are going to work tirelessly to erase all this. Now, on a Trump timeline... He looks to take all this down and get it exposed. This next year is critical to take action. I get everything is in line. Traps have been set. He just needs time to pull this off. You have to do it delicately and it has to be done precisely. All right, disclosure. When are the ETs coming? People want to know. They're ready to be beamed up, right? Um, I get they're already here and I see that UFO activity is more now than ever. We're in a huge shift of consciousness and the ETs are here to see it through. We have energy shifts, culture shifts, political shifts, power shifts, all this heavy energy. It's like a beacon for them to see and when needed, they will help facilitate, but they're here, people. All right, so my, my last topic. I wanted to kind of end on a positive note, right? We have so much stuff that happened in 2020 and what's going on in 2021 that I wanted to kind of have some uplifting thing at the end. And so I want to talk about the event and the awakening. They want to know, can you update us on the event? And I get that, you know, we're not only in a political and social division, we're in the middle of a spiritual warfare as well. The recent solstice, which um, wasn't that long ago, marked a huge step in the ascension and waking process. It was as if those beings that were able to get through 2020 
and all the, the year through with them were given the ability to truly awaken and see truth. It was like the opportunity was given through these challenges. It's like we went through the gauntlet of 2020 and now that you survived it, you, it's like you're, you're ready to emerge here. As difficult as 2020 was, it provided a multitude of opportunities to nudge the subconscious to question things and seek truth. The event won't happen all at once. It's too much for our 3D bodies, but 2020 did trigger many subconscious upgrades, so we've upgraded a lot. We have grown so much as people over this past year with everything that was thrown at us, the people that woke up, the people that have seen the truth, the people that have really like looked inward at themselves. I mean, there was so much opportunity, even though it was struggle and frustrating and created anger and worry. There was a lot of different things going on, but ultimately we grew so much as people during this past year that we're in alignment for us to continue to ascend. It won't happen all at once. It's not going to happen overnight, but wow, did we go through a lot of upgrades last year or 2020 this year, I guess it currently is. So as always, I want to leave you to trust your intuition and let it guide your path. And that was all I have for this reading. I'm going to thank you so much for listening. I know this was a way long reading, way longer than normal, but I had a lot of information to get out there. So I just want to wish all of you a happy and healthy new year. And, you know, by all means, please leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to like my video, subscribe, all those things. It helps me out. Everyone, you take care and I will see you in the new year. Take care. Bye.